Hey there everybody, things are pretty dormant over in the Ninja Kiwi world so how about we revisit the next big thing instead, Bloom's Tower Defense X. If you guys didn't know already, BTDX is a game developed independent of Ninja Kiwi and is essentially the replacement for BTD6, which won't be coming out for another couple of years now because Ninja Kiwi is scared they will lose competition due to the surge in popularity of this rival game. Also. 76% of people will listen to anything a YouTuber says even though it is false. Anyways, I'm sure a few of you saw this coming from a mile away, cause it's inevitable I would try it out eventually, so I'm doing you all a favor and getting it out of the way early. In this video we're going to try to see how the secret OP strategy fares in the depths of this visually stunning game, and compare it to the OPness of the 00 dart monkeys in BTD5 and Bloons TD battles. Just to give you guys a refresher, since those videos are ancient as hell, in fact the last secret OP strategy video was over 2 years ago, the secret OP strategy held up very well in both games needless to say, in BTD5, they were able to defeat all 85 rounds in hard mode all by themselves. A lot of people were skeptical of my achievement in the comments section because I skipped parts of the video and it looks like I did some editing, but don't trust those idiots, I saw it with my very own eyes, and how can the video not be real if our eyes are real? But yeah, Bloom's TD battles yielded the same results. I was able to rack up a near 100% win rate when I was able to harness the dart monkeys. The results with unharnessed dart monkeys, well that's another story. That brings us back to BTDX now, where the goal is again to see how far we can survive on this extremely difficult map using only 00 dart monkeys as our balloon popping power. Villages are also included in this challenge, because we're in a first world country where it's essential that every citizen have a roof under their head in this day and age. You know what they say, good shelter leads to good morale. Unfortunately there's one pretty big issue though, and that is I'm unable to actually harness the dart monkey's true power because I'm not too familiar with the game to understand the proper techniques slash ritual involved to harness these guys. That comes with time and one week is certainly not enough, so I'll probably have to get back to you guys on this challenge once I've cracked the Da Vinci code. For now I guess we can see how well unharnessed dart monkeys can last, they are nowhere near the level of harness monkeys, but I'd say their power is still fairly respectable. Let's take a look at this game now, so far we're doing pretty well. Clumping all the dart monkeys onto the village is definitely an A-plus idea, but I think it's almost reached full capacity, so I'm going to have to build another village soon. While I'm at it, should I also take a moment to mention just how damn cute these little guys look? I mean just look at that face, that fuzzy tail and their thick circular body. The perfect package, I must say, no homo. So yeah, as cool as they look they've got quite a few weaknesses. Unfortunately with the unharnessed dart monkeys they aren't able to detect slash pop a couple of these special balloons in this game, like say camo balloons and lead balloons, so I'm just going to let them waltz by because I got plenty of lives to spare, I'd like to avoid using road spikes if I can. Speaking of special balloons, I suppose I can talk about that in the meantime, since there's not much to say when you're in the process of spamming dart monkeys across the map. I touched on it very very briefly in the last video, so I'll also touch on it very briefly here at least until we get into the later stages of the game where more of these special balloons appear. A very important new balloon property to discuss is shielded balloons, basically balloons can spawn with this cute glass shield surrounding them which will take extra hits for them to pop, very reminiscent of the balloons super monkey series I must say and also a very annoying balloon type to deal with, right up there with the combo regrow rats. I'll stop with the memes now. Another annoying balloon is these so-called splitting balloons, which simply contain three more balloons of the same type underneath. I'll hold it off on this new balloon tuck for a moment, though because I think I've just made a major breakthrough. It doesn't look like this is fully harnessing its power, but this is a big first step. 
It appears thanks to the good shelter and nutrition these dart monkeys have received, they found a way to generate lots of money and accelerate the process of populating this green meadow map. This money generating scheme totally has nothing to do with the buy and sell village glitch I talked about last video, absolutely 100% not. I'm a thousand percent certain this is all thanks to these unharnessed dart monkeys. You see, perhaps karma does exist after all, if you treat your servants well they will do good things for you in exchange, such as find a way to break the money system. This is definitely a big boost to our economy, so I suppose we should use this excess sum to continue this land takeover, sprinkling villages around the map here and there too because the new fellows need homes too. Unfortunately due to the limitations of Bloons TDX, there is only many of these things we can build, approximately one tower can fit per square unit of space. In hindsight it's actually pretty smart of the developers to impose this limit because overpopulation can sometimes be a bad thing even if you need all the firepower in the world to defend, just look at India for example. I'm sure all these dart monkey soldiers appreciate having a fair amount of personal space for themselves. Anyways, this surplus of money also means we can upgrade our villages like mad, getting upgrades like the Monkey Intelligence Bureau so that our dart monkeys practically have no more weaknesses. Speaking of which, now's probably a good time to talk about some pesky special balloons again. Not much else to say about the splitting balloons as I discussed prior other than yeah, they are annoying just like the cries of babies in a spinning blender. That's not all that's annoying though, there's much worse, like these things called stun balloons that stop your towers from attacking for a brief moment. It's a good thing we got dart monkeys all over the map though, at least when some of them are down we got others to back them up. And thankfully there is also a village upgrade that provides some extra resistance. And not sure if we are going to make it to this point, but later on there is this spooky purple looking blimp that will appear that can't be popped by these dart monkeys, at least at this point. That's probably going to be our ceiling, so let's see if we'll make it to that point or if something will screw us up earlier. The balloons are definitely getting pretty far and we are barely into the round 40s which is a little concerning, especially since I can't use these hundreds of thousands of dollars for anything, except for maybe 10,000 road spikes. But as I said earlier, I kind of want to avoid quote unquote cheating, after all we're here to see the prowess of the 00 dart monkeys, not the prowess of auto clicking road spikes and pineapples on the map. So yeah. We're nearing the end so I guess we'll take a break from memeing for the first time and let you guys know what's going to go down with this channel. Again, I'm streaming some time this week again, Wednesday or Thursday so please call in sick to work or forge a sick doctor's note to give to your school for both of those days. Now I'm only going to be live for one of those two days but it's good to get both days off just to be sure. Thank you very much. Also I kind of want to start answering questions from the comments again because they make for some really good commentary filter, but don't ask under this video please, I'm planning to make a community post about it soon so you'll be able to see it on the mobile YouTube app when I do so, and you're free to ask anything you want there. Just make sure not to ask repeat questions that I've answered dozens of times before. Like I know there's this one question that gets asked every time regarding commentaries and frankly I'm going to get it again the next time I ask no matter what I say here, so I'm sure to add some frequently asked questions segment when I post it. Anyways, I'm hungry, let's end the video soon. Good timing too cause we're about to get wrecked really soon. Not from any of the special balloons surprisingly. Instead it's the infamous regrow farm that will soon take off 3000 of my lives. Damn, the harnessed dart monkeys would never allow this to happen, oh well. And there was the unstoppable purple blimp I was talking about cruising behind the regrow balloons, so we were pretty much dead this round anyway. There it is ladies and gentlemen, round 57 is the limit for these guys. But stay tuned because we're gonna come back with a vengeance and break round 100, mark my words. And subscribe to get the usual notifications. Have a secret day.